Hello everyone. This is your course instructor, Monisha Raj KH, Assistant Professor, Department of ECE, Sai Vidya Institute of Technology. In this video lecture, we'll be continuing with Module 3 and the topics would be Moroga's method and binary erasure channel. First, we'll see the estimation of channel capacity by Moroga's method. Consider binary channel as shown in the figure. That is x1, x2 and y1, y2. From the channel... Uh, that is the binary channel, we get the channel matrix as P of yj by xi equal to P11, P12, P21 and P22. Mark this equation as 1. In order to find the channel capacity of the binary channel, a method was suggested by Dr. S. Murago, which is given below. For this, he considered two quantities Q1 and Q2 and found out um, using a matrix equation. So the matrix equation what Murago gave was P11 into P12, P21 into P22, Q1, Q2 equal to P11 into log of P11 plus P12 into log of P12, P21 into log of P21 plus P22 into log of P22. Now expanding this second equation we get it as P11 Q1 plus P12 into Q2 equal to P11 into log P11 plus P12 into log P12 and P21 into Q1 plus P22 into Q2 equal to P21 into log of P21 plus P22 into log of P22. Mark this equation as 3. So these two equations are simultaneous equations and these two equations can be solved to get the values of Q1 and Q2. Therefore, the channel capacity C of binary channel is then calculated by the equation C equal to log of 2 power Q1 plus 2 power Q2 bits per millisecond. Mark this equation as 4. This is for binary channel, that is for only two input. Now consider, similarly, the Muragos method uh, can be extended to 3 cross 3 channel and the channel capacity C is given by C equal to log of 2 power Q1 plus 2 power Q2 plus 2 power Q3 bits per millisecond. Now the above equation, that is equation number 5, can be generalized as follows. Uh, before we had calculated it for binary channel, now we will be calculating for generalized equation, that is for how many ever number of uh, inputs it may be. Now we will be finding all the generalized uh, equation. So P of y of yj by xi equal to P11, P12 up to Pmm. In the same way, uh, we can write it as P11 in up to Pmm and also Q, the two quantities what we had considered in binary channel here we can consider it for Q1 up to Qm and also P11 into log of P11 up to Pmm into log of Pmm. Now simplifying this equation and further simplifying we get the channel capacity as C equal to log of 2 power Q1 plus 2 power Q2 up to 2 power Qm bits per millisecond. <coughs> this is about Muroga's method or Murugos theorem. Now we'll be studying about binary erasure channel. Binary erasure channel is one of the most important channel used in the digital communication. Whenever an error occurs, the symbol will be received as Y and no decision will be made about the information. But an immediate request will be made through the reverse channel. The transmission of the signal takes place till the correct symbol is received at the output. This ensures 100% correct data recovery since the error is totally erased in this type of channel. Hence, the name binary erasure channel. Since it is error free, the name would be binary erasure channel. Binary erasure channel is also symmetric channel whose channel matrix can be constructed from the channel diagram as shown in the video. That is, x1 of 0, x2 of 1 and output would be y1 of 0 and y2 of 1. So x1 of 0 would be omega, x2 of 1 would be omega bar. The transmitter would be x and the receiver would be y. So from this diagram, we get the channel matrix as p of y by x equal to p bar p0, 0, 0 p and p bar. So uh, from the channel matrix, we also get it as Omega plus omega bar equal to 1 and P plus P bar equal to 1. <coughs> now, 
from this uh, channel matrix, we can calculate the entropy. That is h of y by x equal to h into summation j equal to 1 to s p j into log of 1 by p j. And substituting the values as p and p bar, we get it as p into log of 1 by p plus p bar into log of 1 by p bar. Here in, uh, in binary error channel also, the task is to find the channel capacity. So equation would be C equal to max of i of x comma y into Rs. i of x comma y is nothing but mutual information. So uh, we know that we have already studied the uh, equation for mutual information that would be h of x minus h of x by y, x by y. Now substituting that in the equation, we get a max of h of x minus h of x by y into RS. Here R is equal to 1 because it is 100% data recovery has been done and it is error free. So RS would be 1. Now substituting that, the final equation for channel capacity would be maximum of h of x minus h of x by y. Now uh, we need to calculate h of x and h of x by y. But we don't have the values. So we need to calculate individually the entropy of the input and the conditional entropy. So h of x can first, uh, h of x can be calculated as h of x equal to summation i equal to 1 to 2 p of xi into log of p of xi. To calculate the entropy, first we need to know the matrix. So p of x equal to omega and omega bar. Now substituting these values in the equation, we get h of x as omega into log of 1 by omega plus omega bar into log of 1 by omega bar. This is the value for h of x. Now we need to calculate h of x by y. How will you, how will you calculate h of x by y? We don't know um, p of x by y. So first we need to calculate p of x by y. How, how, do, how do we get p of x by y? We'll see that now. So to find out p of x by y, first calculate p of x comma y. How will you calculate p of x comma y from this equation? p of x comma y equal to p of y by x into p of x. We know both the matrix p of y by x as well as p of x. Substituting those two values and simplifying, we get p of x comma y as p bar omega, p omega 0, 0, p bar omega and p bar omega bar. Now, we need to calculate p of x by y. The formula goes for that as p of x by y equal to p of x comma y by p of y. But we don't know the matrix for p of y. From this matrix, we can calculate p of y matrix also. How will you do that? From this matrix, p of y1 is p bar omega. p of y is p, p omega plus p bar omega. Simplifying further that, we get it as p. And p of y2 is p bar omega bar. Now, substituting this matrix and substituting this matrix, we get p of x by y. So that would be p of x by y equal to p of uh, p bar omega by p bar omega, p omega by p, 0, 0, p omega bar by p, p bar omega bar by p bar omega bar. Further simplifying, we get p of x by y as 1 omega 0, 0 omega bar and 1. So we, now we, we have got the matrix for conditional probability x by y. From this, we need to calculate h of x by y. How do you do that? Substituting in the equation, h of x by y equal to summation i equal to 1 to 2 into summation j equal to 1 to 3, p of x comma y uh, I into log of 1 by p of x i by y i. So we know both p of x comma y and p of x by y matrix. Substituting those values and further simplifying, we get h of x by y as p into omega into log of 1 by omega plus omega bar into log of 1 by omega bar. This equation is nothing but the h of x value. That is, this h of x equal to omega into log of 1 by omega plus omega bar into log of 1 by omega bar. So in, the, in this equation, substituting this as h of x, we get h of x by y as p into h of x. Now, uh, we have uh, calculated h of x and h of x by y. But we need to substitute it in uh, the mutual information equation. So the equation goes as i of x comma y equal to h of x minus h of x by y. Substituting both h of x and h of x by y, we get it as i of x comma y equal to 1 minus p into omega log of 
1 by omega plus omega bar into log of 1 by omega bar. So it would be i of x comma y equal to p bar into h of x. As I told, this is nothing but h of x. So after finding the mutual information value, we need to calculate now channel capacity. So the channel capacity would be c is equal to max i into i of x comma y, c equal to max into p bar into h of x, as the value of i, I of x comma y would be or is p of p, uh, p bar into h of x. So substituting that and simplifying, c equal to p bar into max of h of x. So that will be equal to p bar into h of x max. In module one, we had studied the equation for h of x max. That is nothing but h of x max is log q to the base two. Here q would be two because the number of input or the source is two. What we have considered this is for binary. So q would be two. So the value goes as log of two to the base two. So c equal to p bar into log of two to the base two. So this equation will be one. So the channel capacity will be c equal to p bar. This is the equation for channel capacity in binary erasure channel. Thank you.